Hello guys, my name is Phil Benjamin and today we'll be treating the frequency separation technique. Um, we'll be using this um, image um, I shot from my last workshop. I've already done the healing and the cloning because we'll be treating the frequency separation technique so I'd want to go directly to it. Um, we'll be using the frequency separation technique to retouch the skin of this um, image. Yes, you can use the frequency separation technique to also retouch the hair and other areas of the image. It's what we'll be concentrating on the skin today. Um, the frequency separation technique is a technique where you separate textures from colors um, in order for you to be able to work on the texture separately and on the color separately. So well, for us to start off immediately, we're going to clamp this image down and create a standalone layer of all these um, three um, layers present in this image, which contains the healing and the cloning of the entire image. So we'll just select three of the, the three images and we with our control shifts out here will be able to create a merged image a mesh layer of these three layers on top of them which is this layer so this is a mesh layer of these three under so we'll use this to create our frequency separation and um, layer so what we'll do next is we'll make a copy of this and um, layer already on top and we'll rename them. So we'll name the bottom layer low and we'll name the top layer high. So what I'm trying to do is to create the frequency separation group layer. So um, we've successfully named, renamed the layers. So I'm going to click this uh, eye icon here so as to make this eye layer invisible. Good, so it's invisible and I'm just going to select the low layer and I'm going to apply Gaussian blur to the low layer. Now, um, which is this, so I went to filters and I se selected then blur, then Gaussian blur. Let me do it again now, so that you get it. Um, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Good. So now um, the number that you use is um, very, very, very important. Now, if you use a lower number, the textures of the skin will be very, very, very soft, very soft. And if you use um, the a higher number, the textures will be very, very um, hard, you know, and strong. So depending on what you want to do, if you want to use a soft um, textures, if you want um, strong textures, but definitely if you bring it down at this point where you are seeing the textures or like 4.0, 5.0 and all that, a lot of people do, do, does that. Uh, it gives you very, very soft textures, but I don't like my images to come out like that because it makes the images look very, very artificial. So most times um, the best thing to do is to Look at your images. You zoom very, and uh, your image. You zoom very properly. You move this until you no longer see the texture of the image at all. Like it's well, like that. So around this point, eight point, eight, nine point eight is good. But I'll, I'll just type in ten. So I'd rather use ten. So I think I'm comfortable at this point, and I feel it will give me the right result. So. Wow, then I'll just okay this. Yeah, we've done this. So I'll select my eye layer, reveal my eye layer again by clicking the eye icon. So now I can see the high layer, which is on top of the low, um, visible again. So now what we'll do is um, we'll go to image, um, apply image. Huh? So when you get to apply image, we'll change some things. Uh, under this um, layer, uh, layer, we'll come, we we'll select low. Then um, we we'll come to the blending. We we'll select subtracts. Good. So this is normally one, and this is normally zero, which is like this. 
point once you are doing this for the first time so what you do is just change this to 2 and change this to 128 as the standard so once you are done with that you click your ok so after your ok um, we'll make a group of no first of all for making a group you just go to your blend option you select your linear light yeah to bring back the layer so now we've successfully separate the textures from the low we successfully separate the textures from the low so now the eye layer has the textures and the low layer has the color now if i remove if i make this invisible you see that the low layer is blood if i bring it back this if i make this invisible you see that it's very very sharp okay, so the texture is is on the high layer so what we'll do now is group these two together and name it um, frequency separation uh, fx i think is okay so we open the group and we are going to be working in the group so i'll be working on the low layer more um, for the textures so what i do what i'm going to do here is um i'm going to double this layer again for a second time then clip it to the bottom layer to clip it you very click your alt hold down your alt key put your console just in between the two layers and to show this arrow and you click so it's clipped to the bottom layer to so have the copy here and we have the bottom one here so i'll be working on this copy now all the reason for doing this is if we make any mistake along the line we can just take it out and continue or we can erase it or something so now we can go ahead to use our selection tool and just select the areas we want and apply Gaussian blur you know apply a particular number okay let me just give you an example like this uh, we'll select like this the um, edges are set to the other set to 15 feather so that the edges will be soft and I can just come um, use Gaussian blur and for increase the number to like 18 18 or maybe oh, I don't want it to be too much so 18 20 good now you can go and do this you can do this this is good so you can you do this you can just um, use your alt control alt f key to just apply it to the other areas because it's already set on your filter so let me just round up with these and show you but this is a frequency separation method. Now I don't I don't always like my skin to be too soft, so that's why I'm using numbers that I know would make my pictures okay. Now you see the way I'm selecting. I'm washing the shadow areas and the highlight areas, so as for me not to overdo this, I want to make my image look too artificial. So let's go back. So you can see the the skin already it's coming out nice. So for this, um, I'll select this area. And just apply it there. So I'll select the area in the neck. This is actually faster and easier. Oh no, selected the one layer, so you want to watch that. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So you just select the areas you want to apply the fee, the filters. And that's all, sorry, okay. So let's select here. Good. So this is um, actually frequency separation with um, Gaussian block mm -hmm. so also have frequency separation with a um, mixer brush we're going to also do that and see 
whichever one you are comfortable with we I think you can go with it but either one will give you a good result if you know what you are doing okay so for fast retouching if you want to deliver to your clients on time and all that and you want to deliver good images i think this is the best way to go so now um this is what we've done we already have a very beautiful image out here so um sorry let me so you see well, see the difference it's out with it's out with this beautiful can you see it okay so we are done um, the skin is very small because I've already done the um, remove the blemishes so I don't have to but normally if you want to remove the blemishes you can use the eye you just can use your your um, clone tool make sure this is on correctly and below and you can even set your flow up to 50, 100, whichever and you can just go there and just clean anything you want to wipe out from the image any blemishes okay okay so Whatever you want to work on, you can work on it. Using the clone stamp here. But because we are working on just the textures, it wouldn't... Um, it not affect the image. So, this is what we've done. And this is beautiful. So another thing we can do is um, in between we can just create a layer, blend our tones and all that. But um, before we go further, I would also want to try out the the uh, mixer brush. So we see um, how um, both will give us a um, good result. So we'll create another layer and also clamp it here. Uh, I'm going to use the mixer brush for this one. So let's see how this goes. So all you do is um, you select the mixer brush, um, you set your, your maze, your words and everything to a particular number. So yeah, my flow is 50, this is 50, and these are the wet 35 and low 35. Some, sometimes I set my flow to up to 75, but um, we'll leave it at 50. I think it's really nice. So, for this, this is a bit technical. So, you want to try and follow it very properly so that you don't make mistakes. Now, the light and the darks basically. So, you pick a point in between and brush it so as to blend the skin in. And also the tone, so pick big from here. Yeah. Another thing is, um, really, you don't want to zoom in too much so that you see what you are doing. So, just like this, it's as simple as this. We're just going to keep brushing until we are done. This actually also blends the tones together and smoothing it out. So that's the difference between this and the Gaussian blur method we use. So I'll just brush it. Mm -hmm. Now there is a more advanced way to go about this. Definitely when you are using the check layers and all. So in one of my next um, tutorial, I'll be talking about um, check layers where you can use them to do and all that. So 
can now get to understand. As you can definitely use share clears for a lot of things. You can use it for frequency separation and touching, you can use it for colors and all. So you just brush it in like that. You blend it. You don't want your brushes to be too small. Okay. Keep brushing. Okay. So you see the way I'm brushing it in. Brush through it. I just want to check it so so we're doing so you see so it's happening to the skin so brush off brush this area as also so I'm making sure my brush is catching both the lights and the dark at the same time so I to blend it in and you don't want to blend um, one particular area too much so about two three strokes and we're good So let's um let's check what we've done. Um is it so you see. So I want to make sure you get it right though. Like I said, you don't want to brush one particular area too much. I want to make sure I have like three, four strokes. This area is okay. So. Okay, so let, let's see. So this for the mix however you see and the textures are still nice look so real as the importance of this when I'm doing my retouching I always don't take it too far away from the original image so you want it to be fine yeah or you want it to be real you know my images don't come out looking too or overly retouched I'm very particular about that. So, wow, I think I'm 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 very satisfied with the result. Now, let's um, check the difference between both. This is, uh, this is uh, this is the Gaussian blur. Hmm? Not too much difference though. This for Gaussian blur and this is mix uh, brush. So whichever one you are comfortable with you can go with it but notes like um i said earlier that the number you know the number will determine how uh, strong the textures will be or how soft these textures will be so if i use something like 14 i think the textures will still be a bit um, stronger harder um, than, than these particular textures and it will look real and lovely but for me this is okay because I'm also going to do sharpening and all that so once I apply sharpening it will bring out the the texture of this particular image very properly and I think I'll be 
very very comfortable with that so whichever one you are comfortable with i just showed you for um the mixer brush and the gaussian uh, and gaussian block so whichever one you are comfortable with you want to you can go ahead with it because you have to stick to what works for you and what you are really comfortable with you are the one that will determine how your final images will turn out but this is how you can work on the skin and this is how i work on my skin using frequency separation method another thing we can do with the frequency separation is um, to work uh, on the skin tones like really blend the skin tones in if you want to so how you do that is um, creating another folder in between the high and the low layer can create a folder we're actually not um, working on the high layer because we've already done what we are supposed to do with the high layer earlier when we did the cloning and the healing so um, if you've not seen if the um, cloning you can watch a the previous video where i did um, healing and cloning but for this we are using frequency separation and when you click create a layer we can name this one terms now what i want to do is actually use our brush to blend the tones in between to just have that um, smooth transition from one shade to the other so you we'll select your brush mostly take your flow down i'll use two in this case now what i'll do is um, i'll select a particular area i want to and just brush it in brush it into a single shade you can work So we'll just brush it in like this. See? I think uh, around this spot, I really love the you know, the dimension there. So I really actually removed the dimension. Now you can erase it if you are not really comfortable with the result and continue. Like for you, this spot, I can do this. Just a little bit, but I think I'm good. Okay, I'm good with this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. For those um, areas where you have a uh, hot spots, like you know, very hard lights, too much high light, you can use this method also to reduce the light there and those um, areas uh, but for this this is fine so i'm actually trying to do at least we've reduced it a little bit um, so if you want to blend these tones here you just select the area where you want and you brush over it's as simple as that using the brush make sure your brush is set to Two percent flow, and just blend it in. Now that you have a more even transition into that. Okay, so yeah, see, we're good. Good for this. I think I'm good with this. Hmm. So after this, I can just go ahead and mesh the layer, work on my eyes, um, add some clarity, do some color grid, and sharpen my image, and I'm done. So guys, thank you very much for um, watching this video. Um, if you love this video, um, drop a comment below or press the like button also and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and also lay your friends to know about our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.